Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Last week I shared a video that I'd been wanting to make for a while. I talked through what makes a good personal knowledge management software, why I chose LogSeq to help me get organized and productive at work, and I even talked through how I use some of LogSeq's features specifically. This week, I want to talk through five plugins for LogSeq that I use and why I find them to be so helpful. But before I do, I just want to clarify that LogSeq is actually a really powerful piece of software that can do a lot on its own. There aren't a ton of plugins that I find that actually add much value to what it already offers. These five plugins are the exception, and I do find them to actually add something unique and of value. You can easily install plugins in LogSeq by clicking on the puzzle piece in your toolbar, and then by selecting the marketplace button. Enough introduction though, let's get into the list, starting with plugin number one, to-do list. Okay, I'm kind of cheating with this one because I already mentioned it in my last video. To quickly summarize though, part of what makes LogSeq so effortless to use is that I can open it up and just start writing notes on my daily journal page. And I don't just use it for notes, I log any tasks that pop up on my daily journal page as well. Realistically though, nobody ever gets 100% of their tasks done each day. There are going to be times when the tasks need to carry over to another day. I could invent a way to manage old tasks like moving them or using tags or writing queries of some kind, but instead, I just use this plugin. It's great. It instantly pulls together all of my open to-dos. Using the search bar, I can search for specific tasks, and I can even easily add new to-dos that will appear in my daily journal. The plugin lets me further refine my results by filtering by marker or priority. Items that have an associated scheduled or due date will even show the date and indicate if they're overdue. And finally, tasks can be checked off directly within the plugin. I highly recommend this one. The second plugin that I want to mention is the Journals Calendar. As much as I love the daily journals, it can sometimes feel painful trying to jump to a specific page in the past. It's also not straightforward to jump to a specific date in the future or a date that doesn't exist yet in your journal. With the journals calendar, I have a quick date picker that I can use to jump to any date. If the page doesn't exist yet in your journal, it will be created. It even highlights all the dates where you've written entries with little orange dots on the calendar. Plugin three is called Bullet Threading. This plugin is so intuitive that I'm actually surprised that it's not a default feature of LogSeq already. One of the hardest parts about using an outliner when you have a wall of text and bullets is seeing what indentation level you're working on. Too often, I scroll up to find that my indentation is all wrong and it can be a pain to fix. This plugin simply draws a bullet thread from the parent bullet to your current bullet so that you can track your indentation level. It can even be customized to a specific color and style. So simple, but so useful. Next up, we've got plugin number four, tags. In my video last week, I mentioned that in LogSeq, there is no functional difference between pages that are created with a double square bracket and pages that are created with a hashtag. Even with that in mind though, I personally still have this little system where I only use tags to designate a status in my notes. For example, last week I created some tags called active, completed, in progress, delayed, etc. to use as potential statuses for my projects. The tags plugin fits right into this process. Clicking on the hashtag icon in the toolbar opens up a tags pane that shows you each tag along with a respective corresponding count. This is helpful as a way to quickly get the number of your project statuses, for example. Another way that I've used these is to tag specific people on blocks when I need to remember to tell them something. Then, the next time I meet with them, I open up the tag pane, I click on their name, and this gives me a quick list of things for me to share with them, and then I simply remove the tag once I've spoken to them. I take a similar approach when I have agenda items for upcoming meetings. I'll tag the blocks with the name of that meeting and then use my tag pane to make sure that I don't forget any topics. Okay, moving on to the last plugin, which can be a real time saver if you know how to use it properly. It's called Automatic Linker, and here's how it works. When enabled, the plugin will automatically link to any existing pages as you type. I love this when I'm trying to focus on taking notes while someone is talking. As I type, LogSeq handles the linking for me so that I don't have to slow down and miss things. One thing that I do want to note here is that you do have to go to the settings and learn the shortcut keys for this plugin before it will work. 
This did trip me up at first and I thought the plugin wasn't working, so be sure to go and check those shortcut keys out. On the Mac, you can toggle automatic mode on and off with Command Shift L. The other way that this plugin works is by running it on demand with Command P as the hotkeys. I use the on demand mode when I paste articles and notes from other documents, and it's as simple as highlighting the blocks and again pressing Command P. The plugin will automatically link to any existing pages, and it saves a ton of time. Okay, so you thought we were done, but I'm gonna throw in one more plugin here since technically I was cheating by mentioning the first one again. For our bonus plugin, I'm gonna mention Markdown Table Editor. Personally, I don't use a ton of tables when I take notes, but when I do, the last thing I wanna do is fiddle with typing out Markdown Table syntax. To solve for this, I use Markdown Table Editor. Once installed, Activating table editing mode is as simple as using the slash command and typing markdown table editor. You can use the handy shortcut buttons at the top of the editor to easily add and remove columns and rows, and the whole interface makes it really simple just to quickly put a table together. It's even possible to edit a table by rerunning the markdown table editor command from the block with the table in it. Okay, I hope you found those plugins helpful. If you haven't seen last week's video, I get into a lot more detail about LogSeq and how I use it. I'll leave a link here so that you can watch it. See you in the next one.